In this video, I want to explain to you the key parameters of the timers, per scalar, counter period, and counting mode. You have to master these parameters if you want to learn programming the microcontrollers. Also, we will use a timeline graph to see how each of these parameters affect the timer. It will be much easier to understand. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you are into robotics and programming the microcontrollers. So let's get started. First, we need to configure the timer using the Cubimix software. So we need to open the IUC file. Within the timers, we choose timer 1, and we enable it by choosing internal clock as a clock source. Then within the parameter settings, I ask you to set the prescaler to 999. The rest of the parameters, we can ignore it right now. Then we save the file by pressing Ctrl S. Then we need to open this timer1 initialization function. So we scroll down. And here we need to insert just one line to enable the timer. The central element of the timers is a counter. Counter is a number that is incremented based on the parameters of the timer. So in order to understand how the parameters affect the timer, we can track the value of the counter. For that purpose, I'm going to define a variable. Then within the while loop, I will use this function to get the counter of the timer one. Then we copy it within this variable. Also, we have one millisecond delay. So every one millisecond, I will get the counter of the timer one. Then we can press the back. To visualize the value of this variable, I will use the timeline graph. Please refer to my another video to set up this tool. Finally, when we resume the code, we get this plot of this variable. So what's happening is that the timer counter is incremented as we predicted. And look at the maximum value of this variable which is around 65,000. And if you look at the counter period, this parameter, or we call it auto reload register, it has a similar value, 65,535. So this parameter, counter period, dictates the maximum value of the counter. So let's set this parameter to 9999 and let's see how it affects the counter. After resuming the code, we can see that the maximum value of the counter is 9999 as we predicted. So as we see the counter period or auto reload value dictates the maximum value of the counter. So it starts from zero and is incremented up to the uh, counter period, then it restarts from zero. Next, I want to explain how the prescaler affects it, affects the timer. So instead of 999, let's add another 9. So let's see how this parameter affects the timer. After increasing the prescaler, if we resume the code, we can see that the counter is incremented slower. So it means that the prescaler dictates how frequently the counter is incremented. And we can precisely compute how the counter is incremented. If we open the Cubimix again, uh, we can see that on my microcontroller, the frequency of the clock is 18 megahertz. And we set this prescaler 9999. So in order to identify how many times the counter is incremented, we need to divide the frequency of the clock to, to the prescaler plus one. So in my case, I need to divide, divide 80, 80 million by this value plus one, in other words, by 10,000. So if we do this, computation, I get value 8,000. 
So it means that the timer is incremented 8,000 times per second. So if you start the timer right now, after one second, the value of the counter will be 7,999. We can further decrease at which the counter is incremented using these parameters. So we can divide the clock by two or four. Finally, we have this parameter, counter mode, which controls how the counter is incremented. So by default, we have this option up. So let's choose down mode. After changing the counter mode to down, we can see how its value is being changed in every iteration. So it starts from the counter period, from auto reload value, in our case from 9,099, 9, and in every iteration it is decremented. So it starts from the counter period, then it reaches zero at some point, then it starts from the counter period again. Then I want to change the counter mode to center aligned one and see how it affects the counter. And as you see, when we change the counter mode to center aligned one, it behaves totally different. So the counter is incremented at the beginning and when we reach when it reaches the counter period auto reload value, it starts decrementing. So it slowly slowly reaches to zero, then it start then it starts incrementing again. The next logical step is to apply the timer to do some useful operations. For that purpose, you can refer to my introductory course in programming STEM surgical microcontrollers. We will learn how to use the timer to generate PWM signals and timer update interrupts and many other things, including UART communication, GPU, ADC, external interrupts to build our own LED device.